Welcome back. Let's take you to West Mumbai and Pune. Other markets we're going to cover. We've got on the phone line with us PK Gupta, Mr. Gupta. Thanks very much for joining in. How can we help you? Thank you very much. Uh, actually, I'm a. I'm looking for a flat. It's a two BHK flat mm -hmm. uh, in Bombay, okay. and uh, I want it to be ready by December 15. All right. Year and a half. And from uh, now. sorry, madam. Year and a half from now, right? I mean, what? One year and a half from now. I said 2015 yeah, end, you right. said. That's right. That's right. I'm outside. I couldn't hear you very well. So, and my budget is uh, uh, in the range of 1.5 to 1.8 crore. Mm -hmm. And my preferred location would be on the Western Line. Because okay. it's for my son who is going to be working in Jogeshwari area. Mm -hmm. So, he would be well connected with the, uh, this highway, Western Highway. Fair enough. And uh, I'm also looking for a modern gated community. Okay. Which uh, all the facilities uh, which the younger generation requires. All right. I think all generations now require gated communities and some good amenities. Let's not leave it to young people. But uh, so the budget is a bit tight for Jogeshwari, do you think? Or we can just squeeze in a 2 BHK? What's yeah, the going no, rate, actually, Samir? Actually, it'll be a challenge because mm. the weighted average price for Jogeshwari is around 14,500 rupees a square foot. So he said, but 1.8 crore budget, stretchable? But would it just... if I were to get him a 1350 square foot flat, it would go much higher. Right. Right. So what we would recommend is, uh, and we were told the budget is around 1.5 crores. Mm. So we are recommending Goregaon as a micro market uh, and there also you can get tier 2 builders but with good specification amenities uh, because tier 1 builders are trading anywhere between 70 to 20,000 rupees a square foot. Goregaon enjoys excellent connectivity as well and it has got great proximity to both Jogeshwari and where his son would be working. So that's what we feel uh, about uh, the market as such. So Goregaon would be the right choice to make in that given budget of 1.5 odd crores. If you look at the figures on the screen, there is enough supply. There is 30% unsold units in the market of the total supply of 10,000. That's a lot of supply to choose from. There's 24 months of inventory overhang, so on the danger zone. Uh, nothing to get worried about because sales are very slow across the board in the luxury segment and this is a luxury segment project that we are talking about. The weighted average price of the market here is 13,750 rupees a square foot and the price appreciation trends have been now muted 31% at one point in time. They used to be much higher or 12% on an analyzed basis and they're going to continue uh, rising at this pace only. There's going to be no hidden pleasant surprises going forward as such. Uh, the two projects that you can consider are Lalani Grandeur by Lalani Group and this is a luxury project. It's a G plus 26 story. Uh, it's a mix of one and two BHKs. Amenities uh, like rooftop swimming pool, gym, health club, all that you're looking for. The project is financed by the top banks as well. If you were to look at the second project, Vihang by Cabra Group, this project only consists of two bedrooms with two different sizes, so you can make a choice over there. And this is a standalone building of G plus 21, and it has a gym on the rooftop instead of a swimming pool. Okay. So that's the key differentiator, and but it's, it's near a to the building. Maybe yeah. then it won't have so many amenities. Uh, well, swimming? Mumbai, there are many, many standalone buildings which offer you all the amenities because if they go to sell, for example, 42 units, also there's a sizable number. They're providing a gym. They may not be providing a pool necessarily, but at the same time, you know, you can, in Bombay, you can expect a standalone building to also give you all the amenities. All the amenities, wow. Okay, so Mr. Gupta, if you can write back to us that your budget can be stretched to maybe 1.8 or 2 crores, maybe we could come back to you with Jogeshwari recommendations also. Meanwhile, the two recommendations that we have for you in Goregaon, do take a look at that market because sometimes it's okay to go with a slightly lesser budget and then hope for a better appreciation in the future. So those are the two projects. Mumbai is the market that we are speaking about, Goregaon. We've got Abhishek Mathur as our next caller. Abhishek, go ahead with your question. Uh, hi, uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, I, yeah, I, uh, I'm calling from Pune and I'm presently residing in Piblis Lagar PCMC area. So primarily uh, my query was regarding like uh, I wanted to purchase the two B, uh, three BHK. But that is not fitting in the budget. So mm. it's 2 BHK, so 50 to 60 lakhs. And in case 80 lakhs, I can stretch up to for a 3 BHK. Because okay. I don't want to invest much for a 2 BHK, looking at the appreciation. All right. And the area that I have surveyed is the Baner Balewadi, mm -hmm. Simple Sadagar, and Wakar. All right. So, 
So lots of micro markets, all the micro markets that we've discussed in detail. And I think you sound fairly young. I'm sure you are, uh, Abhishek. So we'll say that, yes, don't go unnecessarily stretching your budget. Be comfortable with your budget, EMI, that you can be comfortable in servicing. And then you can always, always upgrade. Absolutely. Uh, we've shortlisted Piple Sodagar uh, as a micro market for you. Uh, and you're right, investing in 2BHK would be a much better option. Uh, with you having been comfortable in your budget. Uh, it's also a market that's appreciated quite a bit over the last two through two and a half years and the recommended projects are in advanced stages of construction. Pimple Sodagar, Sodagar is also actually developing area under uh, the PCMC and it's a hot spot for residential buyers due to its proximity for Hinjewadi IT Park and uh, it's affordable than other areas like Aund. So property prices in, are at this point in time quite high it's 5800 rupees a square foot is a weighted average price but inventory overhang is very safe if you look at it it's 14 odd months which which falls in a very safe zone and if you were to look at the basic data points uh, 5800 rupees has been the weighted average price of the mid segment over here and 39 percent has been the price appreciation of 15 percent on an annualized basis the projects that you can consider are Rosewoods by GK Developers. This project is uh, getting ready in 2014, available with the developer. Big project, total of 600 odd apartments. Possession is happening in phases. Uh, phase one already has 350 odd apartments. Builder has a decent reputation, has delivered five projects and five are running in Pune at this point in time. The second project is Samruddhi Park by Bhojwani Homes. This project is also available with the developers approved by the top banks and uh, amenities like clubhouse, jogging tracks, party lawns are all there inside the complex. Lastly, we have Graceland by Gobin Developers. Uh, this is getting ready this year. This project is spread into five towers and all amenities also are being available over here, including a mini theater and kids play area as well. And uh, why did you suggest uh this market over and above Vakad in Hinjewadi? Well, we think that this this market has appreciated slightly much more than uh, the other markets. The inventory overhang of this market mm -hmm. is also much lower. Okay. It's an invent, uh, It's not completely an invent, uh, investor driven market. So from a livability point of view also, this would be a good market. All right, so that's Pimpli Sadagar and why we think it's uh, slightly better in the budget that you send us, uh, Abhishek, 50 to 60 lakhs. Those are the three projects that you can look at. And if you've got a feedback after you've seen any of these projects, please do share them with us as well. It'll be nice to know what you thought about them or if you even ended up buying any one of them. We'll be back in a moment. Prime property in emerging areas of Hyderabad. And also, what's the right paint that you should choose this summer to paint your home with to keep it cool and hip? Thanks very much for staying with us on The Property Show. Krishna, hi, go ahead. Right, uh, I'm actually looking for a three-bedroom apartment uh, near the Gatti Bowdy in Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. And uh, my budget is around 70 to 80 lakhs. Uh, this is for my personal view. Okay. And I would like you to uh, give me some recommendations. Any projects uh, which would be completed this year or uh, which would complete uh, down the year, uh, down the line in two to three years is fine. Alright, so end user question. Hyderabad isn't an investor driven market, so it's good to get some end user questions as well. Two to three years, what do you think? Lots of options. 80 lakhs is a decent budget. Yeah, 80 so lakhs, three uh, the options to for ready to move in are still now limited as markets have appreciated yeah. over the last two, one odd year. But he's got and, a two year time frame. Uh, yeah, possession is not really an issue. That's why we've recommended him various options across different timelines that suit his requirement as mm -hmm. such. The major USP of this being that it's got its proximity to Gachibauli, in, uh, employment generation hub, which it uh, which it has become in Hyderabad now. So all projects will do reasonably well and have demonstrated that we've started appreciating quite a bit compared to when we started the show. So if you were to look at the inventory overhang figures also, they used to be 36 and 38 months. Now Gachibauli is all down to 19 months and Kokat. Uh, Pita is down to two, 22 months. Uh, if you look at the varied average price, it's shot up quite a bit. Gachibali is 4250 for the luxury segment. 
and 3450 for uh, Coca Peta. Price appreciation Gachi Boli from negative returns has gone up to 32% on the price appreciation charts over the last two and a half years or 12% on an analyzed basis. And Coca Peta is about 18% or 7% on an analyzed basis. The turnaround market, I must say, Hyderabad has yeah, been. Yeah, absolutely. So the recommendations are Mantri Celestia by Mantri Developers Gachi Boli, 4090 rupees a square foot. 2014 is the completion year, available with the developer. And then we have My Home Vihanga by My Home Constructions Gachi Boli. This is uh, 2016 is the completion year. This project actually is uh, a huge development with 20 blocks and 2000 odd apartments spread in 21 acres. So this project is located quite strategically off the ISB road close to many commercial destinations in the market. And then you have Raja Pushpa Atria by Raja Pushpa Properties. This is also a huge development of 1100 units, so big, big projects over here. And this is HDMA approved project with the model flat ready and uh, 4.5 acres is used for built up area and rest is for open space out of the total 14.5 acres, so good 70% greenery. 70% greenery. All right, so all the specifications, the number ones are on your screen and the qualitative parameters. You've got to hear Samir carefully to get that essence of what each project is all about. Three projects in a budget of 80 lakhs. We're talking about Coca Pate and Gachi Bali. Those three are your topics. And of course, do give us a feedback on what you thought about those projects. It's summer and it's that time of the year when your home needs painting. Now, just before you decide to go bold and splash those bright hues on your walls, you might want to give some thought to what kind of paint your home needs, what kind of color palettes work and which ones to avoid. So here's Jude Sunit trying to make your choices a whole lot easier. Take a look. It's a mark of completion, that final step before your home gets a whole new look. And that's the reason why a good paint job can make all the difference in shaping the aesthetic of your space. And with summer just having arrived, there's no better time to get down to giving your home the perfect paint makeover. Now when it comes down to painting your interior walls, remember to throw in a bit of variety to get the best from your space. Well, there's always been an accent wall kind of a concept that's been very prevalent in interiors. I do think that it helps to have like a really bold splash of color on just one wall because it brings emphasis to that wall. It really depends on what we're trying to do with the interior, but definitely does help, you know, having just one bright red wall in a room and which is generally otherwise quite neutrally toned. But if you thought the perfect paint job was all about getting your aesthetic right, think again. At the Nippon factory in Sri Parabathur, Ramakant Akula tells us how paints have moved beyond their aesthetic functionality. Homeowners these days, he says, want a product that's non-hazardous and aesthetic. This, not surprisingly, has led to a number of innovations that have made it to the company's production line. Like paints with low VOCs or volatile organic compounds, chemical compounds with extremely low boiling points, that cause respiratory ailments and allergies. One of such products is now, which has hit the market very recently, is odorless air care. So what it does is basically it absorbs the harmful formaldehyde, which is there at, in the indoor premises, and converts that into water vapor. So this is an innovation. I mean, for the first time in the country, Nippon Paint has launched this product. And uh, with this product, I mean, uh, one can say that they can keep their homes free of formaldehyde, which is a very harmful pollutant. With aesthetic and safety taken care of, all you need out of your paints now is basic functionality. This throws the spotlight on elements like waterproofing and antifungal coats. We always find that given the humidity we have, prone to a lot of fungal growth and buildings that tend to look really muggy and, and you know, grown over with algae and, you know, fungus. So for kind of uh, making sure that that doesn't happen, we can look at the addition of a waterproofing layer before we put on a paint. There's a lot more than aesthetics that's at play when it comes to painting your home. Are your paints low on VOCs? Do they have the right kind of waterproofing? And most importantly, does your paint have what it takes to beat the great Indian summer? If that's a yes, go ahead and let your colors shine. In Chennai with camera person Sukumar, this is Jude Sanath for NDTV. Well, that's it from us. Happy summer painting your home. It's always nice to renovate your home. And of course, Samir has a 
beautiful gorgeous home which will look great in summer or winters which i just went to for home warming <laughs> uh, so i mean so we thanks very much for joining in and of course if you've got any ideas on home decor on property buying selling or anything at all on the show itself please do send us a feedback at property@ndtv.com goodbye see you again same time tomorrow